need to keep the way clear. Ain't no getaway happening here. And if there is, I am involved. Get it? Good. Now clear off. You're in the way. Ain't no one going nowhere, as far as you're concerned. Now clear off. You're in the way. Button. That's the name of the undead cat from Blood Moon Island. Then Iris must be the name of the little girl. Hmm. Been a while since any new students were registered here. Not that this comes as any surprise. Just look at the place. enough of oh a thousand apologies i'm just at wit's end is all this place is already overrun with addicts and orphans and now i've got to deal with what a candied salamander the woman shakes her head and sighs i should stop caring so much but the kids shouldn't suffer they don't deserve this void-infested hellhole we're handing to them. What is it? Or what was it? Two different things, you know. Used to be a school. My husband Griff and I, we taught the local kids what we could. History, politics, writing, reading, a little cooking, a little alchemy. 
The parents paid what they could. It was enough. Then the Void Woken came, and, and the Magisters took Griff away to Fort Joy. Said he was luring the monsters in, like my sweet Griff would ever do such a thing. Now it's... it's this. I'm stuck scrubbing Lady Kem's filthy floors in exchange for coin most days. And I don't have the energy to shoo away the junkies that wander in. You know him? Is he... was he holding up okay? That sounds like Griff, all right. I'm telling you, if he were here, he'd have this place cleaned up in no time. If the squatters were gone, I could start fresh. Scour the place down, get the school going again. Get out from under Lady Kem's posh thumb. Well, I wouldn't refuse your help. If Griff can't be here, maybe you're the next best thing. Beryl hums a few random notes, just a few. But in those notes, you discern a crumb of hope. come over and play, as long as I don't run off too far. Sometimes we do our ABCs. Not the cat man. His words are hot and black. He shimmers around the blood path. March for Lucian, flicker imps. He will guide us there to the star hall. The fog can carry you. Well, school's out, Follow I dare not say. the cat man. His words are hot and black. He shimps around the blood path. March for Lucian, flicker imps. He will guide us there to the star hall. The clock ticks to our final breath, Twinkle Box. But Lucy and telling you, they're just jealous. They shouldn't be complaining, they should be celebrating. A thief that can steal from the thieves' guild. 
I should be their queen. March Pelusian flicker imps. He will guide us there. You got a brain, yeah? You understand words? It's a group of kids that steal stuff. It ain't all that complicated. At least, not for smart people. You kicked me out, though. All because I took some stupid plate from the stash. I was just trying to show him I could, I swear. Yeah, yeah. They're just brats, all of them. Yeah, yeah. March Pelusian flicker imps. He will guide us there to Star Hall. What's on your mind, darling? And black he shifts around the blood path. March Pelusian flicker imps, he will guide us there to the Star Hall. The fog can carry you. and black he shifts around the blood path march pelusian flicker imps he will guide us there to the star hall And black. He sh Look over there. Shiny light. Do you see them? The mist steps. Each one is an echo of Lucian's dreams. Pray be his. They lead through the silver puffs and into the hall. She bows towards nothing in particular and fingers the collar of her priestly garb, then looks at you with dark, sunken eyes. I am blessed, Red Sunburst, by Drudene and Divinity. I glide on Lucian's breath and feed on his sighs and smiles. For him, I would walk the path of blood. He needs only sing the command. I'm not like the Cat Lord, our Hulu. He slinks around and under and over and inside. He would skim the path and miss the blood. The priest raises her head and screams to the ceiling. Lucian, my wings are ready. I will flap and flit flop when your words go blue. A hulu does not deserve your warm. I hear he avoids Lucian's tough maker, the path of blood. He is a defiler of Lucian's will, shine beast. The crypt waits for only divine, devout, devoted. It is not an easy make trial. Bypass the blood and Lucian brings the rumble. Skyquakes across the heavens, what Lucian said. Punishment for the easy walk. The priest waves her arms through the air, drawing your attention to these non-existent skyquakes. She traces a circle on the floor with her left foot, then shakes her head. You're stymied by the foot gesture, but the head shake is more than clear. I, yes, your voice. His voice. It makes the air drops quiver. 
I am called to the cathedral. I will travel there anon. Clouds should twinkle as Lucian commanded them. Come, fireflies, he calls us elsewhere. So, how's the eviction going? Is that... Wait, really? They're gone? That's good news. Maybe our hard work wasn't all for nothing then. Is there anything I can do to show my thanks? She pauses and tightens her lips. A moment passes, and then another. She smiles. Well, at the risk of saying something I shouldn't, that whole mansion is weird. She sits in that drawing room serving tea all day. As for him, well, he doesn't even sleep in the same room as his wife. He has his own bedroom, does Kem, and it's always locked. He's got secrets, you see. Trap doors and ladders. Where they lead, I don't know. But his wife knows nothing about them. Anyway, you've certainly been a breath of fresh air. You're no Griff. But it's been good having you around. Well, it's not like the old days just yet, but at least the riffraff is gone. I hope they took the headlights with them. Think they'll open the shops anytime soon? I've seen a few trades of that. This place had it coming, Kin. They brought the void upon themselves. Continues. A curious-looking puppet stands motionless nearby. You can feel a measure of source inside the puppet, coiling around its mechanisms. You suddenly realize it's looking up at you with an expression of alarm. Please, leave me. I mean no harm. 
Not a day gave me too much life. More than the others. They did not see that we were in a bad place. But I did. So I fled. There are many others. They are less like me. They bear less life. They are content to kill any who enter the bad place. Our room of death. To prevent others from reaching one who is already dead. There are other rooms all to protect a corpse. And above, a great hall of weepers and chanters. You call it source. They put it in me so I could watch. So I could kill. But they put in too much. I feel too much. I do not want to kill. I fled when two others entered. A woman in white and a hooded man. I did not see what became of them. Dead in the bad place, most likely. There are many levers. Moss spell death. But a select few spell power. Seek power to seek freedom. This is what our design dictates. Master engraved it upon us at birth. Hiding location compromised. Seeking new refuge opportunities.
Ugh. This flesh is well past ripe. Whatever memories it once held are now gone. Remember that client? Lord, whatever it was? <laughs> the look of surprise in his corpse. I mean, what did he expect? <laughs> if you secure a loan with blood, it gets repaid one way or another. I'm 
She gives you a smile of the purest hate. Then she raises a hand and begins a silent incantation. You know that she is trying to boil your blood, but she cannot. Her power is gone.
You see yourself in the mirror. It's quite a sight. Yes.
She gives you a smile of the pure... All Magister Reader material has to go. Orders from Lord Kep. I never read this stuff before. And Magisters use a lot of big words. The drain's blocked. But I can hear water. No wonder the Flatfoots were so easy to defeat. I hope Lord Kem doesn't expect us to keep doing this. I sure hope one of them pilgrims... Can I offer you something special? Some... With a glint in her eye, she raises her hand and shows you her rings. I'm sure you agree when I say no one has as many friends as the big cheese. Ah. You speak of my little helpers. Is there more to speak of? I'm quite... I hear water. At least... I hope it's water. Are you enjoying the peaceful paradise the Divine creates at our expense? Think they'll open the shops any faster? I'll finish the place first, okay? For the safety of Rivalon, report all sorcerers to the nearest Magister. Weirdos in the cellar chase me away. You believe that? I don't. And I tried my best purring and my best meowing. I even did the slink thing against their legs. No luck. You see yourself in the mirror. It's quite a sight. Yes.
Godwoken, how can I help? We were... naive. We needed a Godwoken to ascend, and we assumed that a Godwoken would merit ascension. Our error cost us dear. Many died. But the mistake did not ascend. For that we can be grateful. Expert warriors for hire. It was a painful lesson on the dangers of the Godwoken. If the mistake did not ascend, perhaps divinity would indeed alight on the most deserving. I hope this is the case, eh? Godwoken? He exhales. A long release of pure relief. His was a terrible story that leaves few of us covered in glory. But the story at least is over. And yours goes on. For that, I'm grateful. I pray we do not make the same mistakes again. You must truly savor my company, Godwoken. Something you wanted? Allies for hire.
I've got sword fighters, mages, archers, all willing to fight by your side if the price is right. Type of companion you need, I can provide. Expert warriors for hire, all seasoned in combat. They won't let you down. 